welcome my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm so excited to be doing this but I finally have a three looks one palette with the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive collection. I'm tempted to maybe even do a little bit more I'm not sure but um, I woke up at 5am Australian time to buy this collection which didn't end up selling out and I think you can still buy the PR set and bought this amazing PR set cost a pretty penny uh, so I thought it was worth uh, but it was it's been a fun experience getting this box and playing with it so I did a few looks and at the end we can have a chat about like <laughs> my best PR kit thing I got all right thanks I uh, enjoy the looks and I'll see you at the end hello welcome to look number one for the melt radioactive for all the stuff on my face will be listed below, but if you remember my Melt Ultraviolet flush smashed on its way over, there's got a new one sent coming my way. So hopefully it'll be here soon, but I repressed it, mixed it all together, and I don't know how I feel about it. It's actually, because the pigments, some of them were quite large, I didn't mix them that well, and they are just like a bit patchy and pigmenty. Anyway, let's get on with this look. I thought I'll try it. I can use this giant thing to show you the shades. Alright, so I'm going to go in for eye primer with the Rimmel Magnify Eyes Primer. This is just like a really tacky base. I thought it would be a good, a good one to do. I've got my wine. I haven't brought the bottle because why not? I'm going to make Rockford's Shiraz Cabernet today because I'm fancy. I'm gonna first off go in with neon. Alright. I'm doing that way too annoying. Let's go in with neon. The yellow. Honestly, just one of my favorite things to do is just to put this all in my inner corner. And the brush I chose is a little bit weird. Awesome. Let's switchy switch it off. And we're gonna go in with radon, the orange. And I'm going to bring this up here. I just want to mix these together a little bit. Let's just see if I can like light match it up. Because it's not, it doesn't look terrible. I think that's like an okay lineup. What do you reckon? I'm enjoying this brush to go with it. This is my BH Cosmetics in a 105. And I'm going to go in with... It's going to be Meltdown. Which is like this dark teal. It's just like after my heart. I love... I don't know. I like really love teals. Or navies and blues. I just love blue to be honest. Alright, we've got a heap of fallout happening. But the pigment is crazy. Alright, let's just see if I can like get that off. Nope. Alright, to protect myself from this further, I'm gonna put some more powder down. And let's just see if we can fix. Nope, that's making it way worse. Alright, I'm gonna come back to this later. So I'm just going to put heaps of powder down on both sides. And hopefully that saves us from further, from further accidents. Uh, let's finish underneath the eyes. I'm just going to match the colours up. Alright, we're going to try a little bit of cut crease. I'm gonna lay this like just all over here. Alright, that's not too bad, I think. Then I'm gonna go in with. I think it's gonna be a uranium. And then I'm going to go in to Arsenic, which is this beautiful blue. Oh my god, yes. 
Let's see how the pull-out powder looked. Mm. I think pretty good on this side. Like we already have the damage done this side. So let me just go in with some concealer. Mm. No, I don't have any makeup. It's definitely like kind of a fun, fiery look. I don't know how I feel about it. Definitely went more like fallout than I expected there. Oh, I've just been dying to use this. So I'm gonna go on my LA Girl Neon Liner in Fresh. So Net always uses them and I've been so jealous but I finally found them in Australia. Well, only this one. And I'm very excited. Oh, they are beautiful. All right, I need them all. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Damn Girl that I just got in my Beauty Week box. All right, so that was the Australia Skinny on the bottom lashes and I think we're finished. So here is my first look. Let me know what you think. You still have shit. Alright, I'll see you next time. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I forgot to put anything on my lips. So I'm excited to go in. I'm gonna go with the Super Heat from Melt. The doe foot's like a bit strange. I don't know if I can convey it to you because it looks normal. That's like pointy and wide, but that's kind of cool. Anyway, that was me with the lip. Truly see you next time. Welcome to look number two. We had some audio issues, so I ended up sort of just playing with my makeup. I've got the Glaminatrix lipstick in grape candy on. And for blush, I was playing around, so I did get my ultraviolet in the mail and it's not smashed. So I've got this pink and this purple on the side. Not sure how I feel about it, but it's definitely easier to use than the repressed one I've been playing with. And let's get into the look today. I did actually film this the other day, but I forgot to put my scar on. Um, and yeah, I thought, look, let, let's try it again. Um, I'm sure I can do better this time. So I'm going to put my NARS primer on in light. And if you're wondering, it did take me an embarrassing amount of time to realize I'd forgotten my scar. Uh, forgetting mascara is something I used to do a lot when I first started wearing makeup. Um, my sister would always give me crap. She'd be like, Rue, you don't have mascara on. Um, and now a lot of the times the thing I'm told the most is that I don't put on enough mascara. So I don't know. I think mascara is always going to be like a little battle for me. So I'm going to go in with Hazmat, which is this beautiful purple here. It probably is going to be full out and I didn't put enough powder down, but that's cool. I'm using my Morphe M149 and I'm just going to bring it up from the bottom to begin the triangle effect. I just find when I do this it's like a little bit more winged out like you can already see it whereas if I start it where I want to it ends up like there and this is going to be a very purple look. as a two-tone I've been pondering just how I'm gonna roll it the thing that I find probably the most limiting with this palette is the fact that there aren't really shimmers in here like uranium which is the shade we'll be using today it looks like a shimmer and it doesn't really act like one in the truest sense of the word it just doesn't I don't know like it it doesn't have that same kind of glitz that goes so I'm wondering if it's worthwhile just using some of those cheek palettes that I have, or like the ultraviolet blush, uh, to give it a bit more vava voom, which I think I will because I have it in the collection. And I don't see myself using these on my face that much. 
I did look online and it didn't really say either way if you can use it. So I care. Um, it didn't say if you could use it on your eyes. It just said face and body. So I'm going to assume eyes is fine. I like even now, like that purple has a bit of shimmer to it the way I've built it up. I don't know. But as soon as I blend it out, I know it's going to go. And let's just bring this in a little bit like that and then blend it out with my Sonia G Worker One brush. Um, and I can't really decide. It doesn't seem too patchy to me. It does blend out a lot lighter than the colour. Like it does really change. But it looks pretty good to me. Um, it might look a bit different to you, but I'm pretty happy with that build up of colour. And then I'm just going to go in and let's just, I like, all I really want to do is put uranium all over my lid because it's such a beautiful shade and see where it leads us. And yeah, I just love that, like, mm, you can, well, you can really see the shimmer on it today. The other day when I did it, I wasn't seeing the shimmer as much. And it builds up really nicely. Let's just blend it in a little bit there. I do think I'm missing, like, a shade here. It just feels empty now that I've done that. So I'm going to go in, to be honest, Arsenic is just calling my name. I know I should do the pink, but I don't want to. But seriously, just look at how stunning. Ooh. This shade is. I'm just going to bring Arsenic a little bit underneath here to like tie it in a little bit. And then something for my inner corner, like a little bit more. What shade? Well, I think let's keep the greens going and like maybe go in with the other one. Excellent. There is a lot of kick up in my pan, if you can sort of see it. But that's pretty common for like these kind of pigmented shades, I find. Um, what do we think? Oh, I kind of like where this went. I was just planning on a purple, but it's not too bad. That purple, I mean, I think it's to do a little bit with the way I've laid it down. So I'll see if I can blend it a little bit more. But you can see it's quite dark here. And then it lightens out a bit. It's not bad, though. I've definitely used worse. And I feel like it really needs, like, a, like a really fun liner. Where are my lines? I'm going to go on my NYX Vivid Bright in... Uh, Envy vibe. Uh, this is just solely because I, I know they kind of like crack, but this green just seems like it was just calling my name to go in. So let's see how we can go and if we can kind of avoid it from cracking a little bit. Alright, and I think it's even, but like it's not bad. I'm just going to give my lashes a little curl. And then we will put mascara on. If you're wondering, the look I did the other day was seriously just the purple colours together. So I'm glad I've sat down and done like a bit more interesting. And I'm kind of really into this look. I do love it. Let me know what you think. Like, let me know what you think of the lips. I don't know. I, I've been just I mean, playing with overdrawing. Uh, my sister has been dying to make me overdraw my lips for so long. And I've been wondering if I should get uh, oh, this is the Natio Ampl Amplify and Separate Mascara. I've been trying to figure out if I want to get filler in my lips because I just think it would be like a fun thing to try. Oh my god, I forgot waterline. <sighs> Let's quickly put something on. I see something beautiful in green. Ooh. The LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in Fresh. I think I did just use this the other day, but um, I really liked it. So that is the final look. I'd love to know what you think. It's kind of like a bit fun. And then I'll bring you back out. So this is what the full face of it looks like. <laughs> um, The blush is definitely a lot shimmerier than I would normally go. But it's like, I think for what I've done for my eyes, it kind of inspired me to do a little bit more. Anyway, I'll see you for the next look. Thanks so much. All right. Hello. I'm back. And I thought I would try my classic look 
But I shouldn't do and do like the, all the colours and do like a full rainbow thing going on. So I'm going to put the NARS primer back on my eyes. I've done this for a few of my first impressions videos and I like I just tend to think it's a bit of a fun look. But I have had it in my brain to do it like a little bit more blown out. So this will probably be a bit more, I don't like, um, I feel funny calling it editorial because I don't feel like my skill level is like editorial. But let's see how we go. And the only thing I'm gonna, I think uranium, like we've had a bit of a play with it, but I think if we knock this one out of today's look and just go in here, we're gonna at least get that nice like gradient increasing color. So this is radioactive uh, pink shade. And I'm wearing the lip colour, what is it, Atomic, from the Melt Kit as well. And I laughed so much last time when I did this This with, I think it was the Strobe Creepy Kit. One of you guys commented and said it looks like a circus tent. And I was like, oh my god, it does. I love it. It made me laugh so much. So I'm not too sure on the shape, but I know we're going to be a little bit more blown out and blended than last time. So I'm kind of just letting the shadow lead me where it wants to go. Uh, but that pink is packed on whew, with a punch. So I'm going to try just using the same brush. This is my Morphe M149. I have a few of these so I probably could have just picked them all out. It just seems harder. So I'm going to go into Radon. And I'm just going to bring it up. I'm not sure like what kind of shape I want yet. When I have this my mind, I don't think of it having the straight edges. And usually I don't get straight edges, but it looks like I'm getting them with this brush. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. And this is like a fairly simple thing you can do. That looks like it was hard. Because all I'm doing is packing shadow on and blending it a little bit. And I'm not even thinking of my own colour combinations because this palette is laid out in the rainbow. So Roy G bit. Going into neon, the yellow. I don't think I've spent too much time with this shade yet. And I'm just worried because I feel like I've got to really make sure that this, we fit them all in. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blend in between these two. And I'm just trying to like match it up with the top and bottom. But, but this is probably definitely like a more blown out lower lash line than I'm used to doing. Right, I'm just seeing how we're looking evening up. It's so funny on camera, it looks like I have so much space, but when I see it in person because of the concaves of my face, it doesn't look like that much space. It's a strange thing. I'll come back to a, like, a look in the pictures later and be like, ah, oh, could have gone a lot higher there, bro. Yeah, right, we're starting a bit darker. We're going in with, I'm not too sure on, like, is it Xenon? Enon? Exnon? I was like, we only have three shades. All right. And this is just, like, a beautiful green. I love it. One thing I love about doing the look like this is that you really get to see what these colours look like on the eye. Not so much what they look like blended out but what they look like packed on with some light blending. But I'm definitely getting more aware of these under eye lines <laughs> as I'm going. So it's just making it slightly harder to blend with all these face like crevices, lines of things that get stuck in. Yeah, I think we're kind of like, my eyes are just like a bit of a different shape, but I think that we're fairly even like lid space. It's about the same on both sides. Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Don't mean to. And I'm excited. Well, this next shade is one of my favorites. It's Arsenic. Which is just this beautiful blue. Mm. And I'm realizing now I've still got to fit two more colors in. This is where I get so jealous of people who have more eyelid space. There's just so much you can do meltdown so these two shades have like the most fallout i've had when i've been blending so i'm curious to see how it goes now i'm wondering if i should have stopped 
uh, like done the outer edge and moved inwards a little bit maybe that would have made it a bit easier or this could be like a fun triangle close it's like I'm a tropical fish oh I accidentally put more arsenic on it's just my favorite shade that's easy to go over so now I'm thinking about that fish effect you want to close with a triangle I don't think I'm gonna draw a tail like I just I don't have artistic talent I'm just gonna do a little bit of blend and well let's finish up with hazmat so I want to bring this down So I'm just trying to keep like a straight line, but I really want to keep it true to the shape that I've already accidentally done. And this side was kind of like more of a fail. Uh, has not, and does seem a bit more of a pearlized shade. Like it's got a lot more reflective parts in it than a lot of the other ones. All right, and then I'm gonna grab out a clean, finally. I'm gonna use my Ella brush and I'm gonna just use this to sort of drag out the top of this and blend in and around just to make sure it's kind of like as seamless as we can get going on this side with this clean brush and just blending and blending I'll see if I can fix this small part underneath here yeah that's a little bit better all right I'm just trying to put reconceal that we kind of got it and then I'm just going to use this brush to sort of blend these guys a bit more too it's just that there's like a clear line where meltdown and hazmat don't want to join and I don't think there's much point trying to push it further it's done it on this side too which is very strange but whatever all right now that we're here I'm feeling like it needs a bit more like va va voom. So let's put uranium, which is the sort of shimmery light purple. I'm just going to bring this up and above, like as the highlight. So these definitely like remind me of fish eyes very intensely. So I feel like what should we do for fish eyes? Hmm. I'm going to have a ponder. So I'm just going to do some liner and I'll be back in a minute. All right. So I tried to do like a, a colorful waterline. Oh, these are all mixed up. But these are my ColourPop ones and my LA Girl liner and my attempt of like a rainbow waterline. But I don't think it was that successful. I think it's probably better to just do two shades and not five. But I did think I really need something to sort of bring it all together a little bit more. So I was just looking at my Jeffree Star lips and I've got the shade in Yes Ma'am, which is a bright pink. I thought that might be a fun one to do as a winged liner to sort of hopefully bring it more, more together. Just because that's what's in my water, like my inner corner. So I'm going to get my little brush. This is the first time I'm trying this with the Jeffree Star lips. It will be interesting. I don't know, look, it's quite pigmented over these shades and then it's just sort of died down. But maybe that kind of like adds to the effect. I'm not sure. So let's curl the lashes and put mascara on. I think we're about done with this one. Oh, I got myself in the eye on that one so bad. I can feel my eye watering now. But last time I was impatient getting the mascara off. And I know. You're meant to wait until it dries, but I never know like how long it takes to dry. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Australis Skinny Mascara. Well, I guess I will just wait for it to dry and come back once I've fixed it. Oh my god, you guys should be so proud because I did it. It was a year. So this is where we're at at the moment, and I'm not. I do really feel like it needs some glitter. It's been ages since I pulled this out too. So I'm going to go on with my NYX Glitter Primer and my MAC Iridescent White. This 
if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've used glitter. Um, this glitter like picks up the color that is underneath it. So I think it's gonna like add a really fun spark. So just laying down the NYX glitter primer. And I'll just put this like all over, like maybe just like on my lid, I reckon. Then going into my MAC iridescent white glitter, I'm going to place it on top. I feel so strange to put glitter on because it's been so long. When I first got into makeup, I bought like a whole heap of glitter and got like really into it for a while. And I bought this glitter in particular and just thought it was the most magical thing I'd ever seen. But it's like a super pain to get off. But I figured I've already gone crazy with this look. Might as well add some extra to it. Well, I know my lashes have kind of disappeared, but it's not too bad. I just really like false lashes and me don't get along. But check out this clip. I'd forgotten I'd bought this. But it's just like a torch. Not like it's a torch. But I bought this torch ages ago so I could like show glitter better. Does it work? I don't know because like I'm guessing you can only really see the glitter when I close my eyes. This is one I haven't put out in ages. It's such a blue light. Oh. Going to the torch. So this is my rainbow look. Thank you so much for watching. It's been super fun getting these. Um, I don't really know what to do with this, but I feel like because I bought the radioactive, like the PR kit, I should keep it. And like, how gorgeous are these girls? My God, like stunning. They are just like absolutely stunning. Anyway, so Melt, if you remember one of my shades came broken and they sent me out the replacement which I'm so glad for because I did try to repress it but because it was three in one the pigments were really funny so it just like doesn't come up the same I don't know like it it's not very pigmented it's interesting to have uh, but when I compare it to the one that came unbroken the pigment in this is just insane what so I was thinking of doing looks with this palette and then using the blushes as eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure it says that they're face and body safe and I think these actually could be quite good companions for it. A shimmery blush isn't really my thing. Like, I don't know why I bought so many of them. Well, no, I bought the PR kit. Like, it just seemed like a great idea at the time. I am excited that I own this cool box and the whole collection and those beautiful faces are still in there and it's just like I think part of me feels like it's a bit sad to buy something like that but I think I've been watching beauty YouTube channels for so long I have my own YouTube channel and I've had this for a while and it's just nice to get something that feels special even though I did pay a premium price for it I understand why people buy these I don't know if I'll buy too many more PR kits I did buy the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana PR kit but I think I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Once that comes through, I'm happy to move on. So let's talk about the palette. I actually really love this palette. It's a standard rainbow. It's Roy G. Biv the whole way through. And the shades are just stunning. It's actually already sort of stained itself though. Uh, arsenic. I don't know if you can see it's traveled down and I can't actually clean that all off. So it gets like quite messy. Meltdown and Hazmat are shades that are quite pigmented and when you lay them down there is a heap of fallout on your eye. It just happens with them. But Uranium and Arsenic are just like beautiful shades that I like. I'm a huge fan of. Especially Arsenic. Oof. I don't know. I just I love blue. 
even like looking at the look I've got on now, it's quite beautiful. I did the whole time I was using this treat this as a pressed pigment palette, so I didn't expect it to do huge amounts of blending. But I would be keen to maybe do some more looks incorporating the blush as the eyeshadows as well, so I get that nice shimmer that I'm used to, because it can be intimidating at times using a all matte palette, and it's not really cohesive. I'm glad I bought it because I've always wanted the Melt Radioactive set, like the kit. And this is a cute little palette and it's got cute packaging and Melt's customer service was amazing. Lip wise, I probably wouldn't have bought either of these two shades. I'm wearing which one? Atomic on, which is the purple right now. And there is super, super heat. They dry down to a really thin matte and are quite pigmented. They build nicely. You can layer and they can initially sort of sit unevenly, but when they dry, it evens out. So these are the two lip colors here, and you can sort of see how they're a bit uneven, but as it dries, it will even out. And they are beautiful shades, and I'm glad I've got them for like those really but like baba boom looks that you can get. The blushes, like they say, what you can do with it is that you can swell, mix it all together which when you do it in the thing it just doesn't it doesn't like really work if you can see that it just like hasn't worked i think if you are going to mix them the best thing is to like go in with one and then put one on top and stuff like that this is a beautiful highlighter for me this peach shade and i think yeah it's what i've got on right now it's just like stunning the red i think is going to be like too dark for me but i could definitely sheer it out with the peach um, so I think this is actually the so Gamma Ray is probably my favorite of the two. Ultraviolet is lovely. <laughs> you would uh, you would have seen that beautiful like the intense blush look I got from it. It is just a very shimmery blush. I think I would have liked these in matte shades more, but I think I'll have some more fun with them. And if I use them as eyeshadows to complement this palette, they really are gonna be very nice. Because the biggest thing I found with this is just not really having any shimmers to work with. And to me, that's what I use to draw, like where I'll start from. All right, I'm gonna put that on my lid, so I'll put these around. But having like a matte rainbow eyeshadow palette, this is a complimentary palette more than it is your main palette. I was really surprised with this palette and I'm curious to just keep using it because I know I've seen some bad reviews on it, but I like it, so I'm, I don't know. It's pigment is stunning, it's buildable, blendability is quite good. Though I did at times have problems mixing Meltdown and Hazmat together, I didn't notice them to be patchy. Um, the pigment in this is just amazing. I'm in love with it. And I think it's worth checking out. But I think you should go watch some more reviews because there's definitely some that are for it and against it. So I'm excited to hear what you think. I'd love to hear all your thoughts about the looks that I created and Thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.